Hello everyone, welcome back. This is my second project for Kidola Kits for the month of October. And I'm doing a, what's this, a Project Life layout. And it's in my 9x12 Project Life album. And I decided I wanted to do some die cutting. So I took these die cuts and I wanted to, as you can see, my little title card is that 3x4 card rather than the normal 4x6 card, just because I had a lot of 4x6 photos this week. And so I thought I would layer a vellum piece that I've die cut out over that floral patterned card. Now, what you will see is as soon as I lay down my vellum, my vellum isn't thick enough and the really you can't see the number at all. And so I thought, okay, I'm gonna flip it. <laughs> I am going to die cut the actual number out of the card itself. So this is the week number that I'm talking about. And I think that's just Tim Holtz die cuts. I'm not sure it's actually, but and then I was just going to lay it over the vellum. But then I realized that you're going to really see the background of the card or the photo that's on the opposite side, which had like printing on it. And so I was like, okay, not going to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this mixed media paper that I made in last week's project and I'm going to back it with that because there's obviously little pops of red throughout the layout. And I love how that looks. I was going to use this alpha sticker, but I, oh, sorry, this chipboard alpha. But unfortunately, it just I couldn't get the Sharpie to look good on it. So I had to come up with a different solution. And this solution was some stamping. So I really wanted to do this in black because there's lots of darker elements in this layout. Now, this was the week that we had uh, our 20 week scan for our baby girl. And we took my daughter out of school so she could come along and see. And I absolutely just adore that photo, despite the fact that my stomach looks huge. Um, I love that photo just because of the look on Emma's face of just like pure wonder. Um, just showing you that's how I clean off my stamps when I use stays on ink. Uh, but yeah, so I absolutely love, love, love that photo. But the that photo compared with the ultrasound makes it quite a dark kind of week. And this is only the first half of the week. There's more in as that will be an exclusive for Kid Holy Kit subscribers. But Anyway, so I wanted to bring in some black and that is why I decided to do that stamping in black. I did it on some sticker paper so I could just peel off the backing once I fussy cut it out. Adding the date on a little label from my stash and then I'm going to move on to the rest of the layout. I wanted to bring that floral paper into the layout a little bit so I cut down the picture of baby uh, and I'm just going to mat it on that floral paper. You can't really see it so much in the camera but you can see it uh, in person. It looks quite striking. That colour really is brought down to the bottom of the layout. Now this is where I become quite indecisive um, and I didn't actually cut any of it out. Oh sorry, I didn't actually cut any of it out because I thought it's good to see someone being indecisive. So I was good with this little thing. I was like, yep, that little gold, the little things, title, perfect. I'm going to put that there. And this is where I kind of get stuck. I make so many decisions. I wanted to put that bow, but it was just too big. So I put it back. And I was like, I'll put it somewhere else. And then I couldn't find a spot for it. And then I'm like, I'm going to put this little floral banner. And I couldn't make that look good because it didn't cross throughout the whole photo. And so I'm like, moving on, I'm just going to leave that <coughs> photo for now. And I'm just going to do this little bunny card, which said, love you. Very simple, very basic. Um, but yeah, I tried a few different ones and finally settled on what you've just seen me put down there. The two little golden sprigs. And now I'm getting indecisive again. I stick this down. And then I change my mind. I'm actually going to move that exact sentiment off and I'm going to put that on the sonogram photo. And then I'm going to put the some little phrase strips on. What are they? Tiny, tiny word stickers. I'm going to put those on that photo of baby. Oh, sorry, of Emma. She was so excited when she we dropped her back at school. She took my phone and she showed all the kids the pictures of the sonogram. It was such a special day, honestly. Like, I'm so happy. I also have that photo there of um, some of the clothes I bought for baby. And unfortunately, I um, for some reason, I turned my camera off instead of on. So I do lose a little bit of footage and I don't say goodbye um, in this. See, I put that there and I didn't like it, so I put it back. Um, like I said, indecisive. But yeah, so I actually lose the, the final bit of footage and I so I'm sorry about that. Um, but you do see the final photos in the end anyway. I didn't like how I did that doodly border, so I moved on to the next card and then I went back and turned it into like a more purposefully messy border on the title card. So you can see this is where I kind of go a little bit messy with it because I just didn't like 
one side was like very thick and the other one was very thin. I don't really know how I managed that, but I did. Adding my journaling to this card. Now I'm going to work on that little card and this is where you're gonna lose the footage. And this is where you're gonna see me just packing away my layout. I do apologize for that, um, but yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for joining me. I will see you all again next week for another design team layout. And until then, have a wonderful time. Bye.